Okay, so it's going to be a quick video. I had a couple of people taking issue with me picking on Theodore Zeras, but let's actually check it, okay? Because I don't want you to think that I'm just being spiteful and I'm just making this stuff up for no reason, right? What I've done, because you guys know, I'm a transcriber, right? It's what I do. It's my business. That's how I make my living, okay? This isn't an issue. I can transcribe this stuff. Um, what I've done is I've transcribed just two bars, just two bars. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the bit on the left and play the bit on the right so you know categorically that note-wise, just use your ears. Don't use your eyes yet. Um, they're the same. So we have a D minor arpeggio. Okay, D minor arpeggio. Awesome. Then the G major arpeggio. No problem. Same G major arpeggio, but now in a higher inversion. Cool. And then an A minor arpeggio. Right. So we can't dispute the fact that these two things are the same in terms of the sound. No question about that, right? No one's going to fight with me on that. These two things are the same. Right, so why is it then when we actually look at the video, and we, uh, I should point this out, sorry, we're going to use this fret here, it has a dot marker on it, this is the third fret, this is a great reference point, um, and as you see when he plays the G major arpeggio, he goes down to this third fret and his fingers on the seventh fret, that's a great reference point, okay? So on this D minor arpeggio, aside from, I mean, we'll talk about this in a second, in order to play this, you're going to need to go down to the note F. It's at the eighth fret on the A string. Does he do it? Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's here, okay? Ah. Bo. There's the note F. Bo. It's where the arrow is. Is he going down there? No, he's not. He goes to G. Why does he go to G? Because if you look at the arpeggio fingering that he actually plays in the video, he's playing a G minor arpeggio. See how he uh, he has his finger here at the 13th fret? He's going to go 13 and then 10. Okay, well, interesting transition there. Um, so visually, he's playing the wrong arpeggio. Let's point that out for a start. Then, here's the really incredible thing. If, even if he was playing the right arpeggio, he would need to go up to the high E string, play the D note at the 10th fret of his index finger, and then somehow transition to the 7th fret on the B, uh, high E string the note B, with his little finger. Fine, it's doable, right? With no noise whatsoever, without skipping any of these notes on the way there. You can see on the video that he skips the notes. He doesn't even come close to staying at the 10th fret before he goes to this note, right? Oh, he's already moving. Okay, cool, so G major. Now, as I say, this arpeggio you can see very clearly, he's exactly where you would need to be for this, and the descent of the arpeggio is perfect, fingering-wise. Apart from here where he actually plays the third fret, but you know, I'll cut him a little bit of slack on that one. It's going to be the same problem though. On the ascent, you should be going all the way up the G major arpeggio and ending on the third fret of the high E string before changing to the next inversion, 10th fret on the E string. Sorry. Ah, it looks like he started to move up diagonally so he could get to that 10th fret. Now somehow he moved up the neck diagonally but didn't miss any of the notes. Okay, bold. Uh, all right, in this inversion, he's going to need to go down to the fifth fret on the A string. That would be here, right? Oh, interesting. He goes to the sixth fret. Visually, he plays the sixth fret, but you can clearly hear the note D. All right, final arpeggio. Okay, now we're on A minor. Now, I like this because you can very clearly see some people might say he's in a different tuning. Maybe he's tuned up a semitone, maybe he's tuned down a semitone. But you can clearly see for this A minor arpeggio, he is indeed at the fifth fret where he needs to be to play this damn arpeggio. What does he play? Well, do you think he goes down to this note here, this C down here at the third fret? Sorry. So here's the dot marker. Does he get even close to down here? No. In fact, when he gets to the A string, he doesn't even play E followed by C. He plays F followed by D. He plays uh, 5, 6, 7, 8. He plays 8 here to 5 here. You can see it. Clear as day. Here's the 8th fret, okay? 
There's his finger on the 8th fret, and then he's going to come down here to the 5th fret. There we go, 5th fret. How is, this, how is this even open for discussion, right? The video is not what's happening on the audio. You can't explain that. No one can explain that other than the fact that this video is a misrepresentation of what's actually happening. And it's being done to sell a product. Make sense? Any disputes? Let me know in that comment section below.